I'm in the Lowe's Innovation Labs with Amanda Manna, and I've been hearing cool things about you guys are like robots and stuff now, right? We are in just a short time. We just launched this summer and we've introduced two projects so far. So one of them is the Oshbot that you may have heard about. It's a retail service robot in one of our Orchard Supply hardware stores in San Jose, California. Oh, wait a minute. Lowe's and, and Orchard uh, is the same. Yeah, so Lowe's acquired Orchard a little over a year ago. And um, so we've, they've been great partners for us. Obviously San Jose, really technologically savvy customer base. We thought it'd be a great place to introduce a robot. So when you come in the store, it'll approach you, you can talk to it, tell it what you're looking for, and it'll take you to where that stuff is in the store. And then we're working on incorporating some new features. It'll speak up to five languages. Um, it has a 3D scanner on it, so it can help you identify that random screw laying around that you don't know what it is, but something's broken and needs it. Oh, now that's really cool. Yeah. I thought you were going to say reads barcodes, but you're saying I can bring that weird bracket from the toilet in? Exactly, exactly. And it'll try to help you figure out if we have it in store, if you need to buy it online. Um, it can also remote connect in expert employees from other locations. So if you're working on that broken toilet and nobody in the store knows exactly the answer to your question, but somebody else does, you can essentially remote connect them in on the screen in the aisle to help you with your project. Wow, that is really crazy. Cool. And so we know that when you come into a big box store, it can be kind of an overwhelming experience. And there's no way for an associate to know the exact location of every product at any time. And so that's what the robot is all about. It's really augmenting that experience and helping you get through the store more easily. And the second project is called... I also like the uh, the translation thing is just genius, right? Right, because there's no way that any employee can speak six languages. I mean, if they are, then we need to hire... If, if you're the left-handed uh, bracket toilet specialist and you also have to know Japanese, exactly. that's, a, that's a tough hiring plan. Exactly. So the Ashwat's kind of a roving computer that can help solve a lot of these problems and be another tool for our associates. So you started to say the second project? The second project is the Lowe's Hollow Room. It's an augmented reality home improvement design tool. It's in two of our stores in Canada. And so we've built a database of 3D models of real Lowe's products that you can then manipulate in this augmented reality environment to design your bathroom. And so we know for a lot of people, I don't know if it's true for you, but if I have a vision and I'm trying to communicate that to my husband, he may not get what I'm trying to say. And so maybe we never even start the project because we can't agree on what it's going to look like. So this is a way for you to visualize and experience your room before you ever spend a dime. And so what we're demoing here at CES is how we see that evolving into a virtual reality experience, which is what we've got right here with the Oculus Rift. So if you'd like to try it on, I'll let you check it oh, out. Yeah, yeah, let's at least put it on me, if nothing but for the comedy, right? So is this Okay. Should I take my glasses off probably? Yeah, probably a little easier. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, so you in the bathroom? I'm in a bathroom. I see a... a so everything that you see there you could buy, from the paint color to the tile. These are actual Lowe's products. Wow, that's so, crazy. So for the audience, I'm looking at, I can see a vanity that has no no legs for some reason. A cool looking light. I got pictures on the wall, tile. There's a nice sunset outside. Wow. So tell me when you're facing the door. Okay, facing... Oh, I can, I can turn around. Oh, you're, you're freaking me out. Oh whoa, yeah. I'm I'm standing in the doorway now. Actually, I think I need to turn. I need to turn this way. There we go. All right, I'm gonna move you through the door. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I just moved into the where the bathtub is and another vanity. Oh, you're you're freaking me out. This is this is absolutely nuts. Wow. And so you can you can pick and choose the. Uh, the, the toilet and the, and the tub and the tile and just place it in there yourself? Exactly. So in the store, before you actually go into this room, you would have picked all of the stuff that you want and you can move it around. We have these rooms preloaded here for the show, but a, a customer in the store would be able to totally customize and manipulate any aspect of that room. Wow. I would think you'd have people in the, just wearing this playing around for hours. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of curiosity and people are excited to try it out. And so we've had really great response from customers. All right. I'm going to take it off now because it's right. it's scaring me. Steve, you've got to try this thing on. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, thank Amanda. Very much for so, by. how can people find out more about this? Our website is lowesinnovationlabs.com. And that's L O E W E S. L O W E S. <laughs> Innovation Labs, plural.com. Great. Thank you very much, Amanda. Thank you. Enjoy the show.